Here's a video on how I got the Tentec, the Tentec Pegasus radio transceiver to run on Windows 10 using a VMware computer. So I'm using uh, VMware ESXi and running Windows 10 on that. So let me show you how that works. So here's ESXi. This is by VMware. And I have a Windows 10 VM running right here. And now, once you get Windows 10 running on ESXi, what you want to do with it is add the uh, USB support for the unit. So you can see here that there's a future devices uh, USB device. It's a cable I bought to control the uh, Pegasus on Windows 10. You must have that. And this, this is a mouse that I put on, but I guess I don't need it, so I'll take it off. Anyway, you, you need you need this device right here. So once that's connected, you want to basically right click on your VM here and do um, an edit settings. And then on the VM, you're going to see the USB device. So you want to add this USB device and oh oh yes so I think you also need a USB controller so I did add the USB controller and I added the USB device I have two of them one for a mouse but I don't need the mouse because I'm using Windows RDP and I've had the flu so that's why my voice sounds very very bad I'm not usually sounding this bad anyway so that's how that works and you can then so i log into windows using um this little interface here so i'm using remote desktop and so i'm logging into windows right here through that mechanism using microsoft remote desktop which you can download to mac os or windows and so with that said here's the rdp and um, that's how uh, that works. And so this is running the RDP program. But to take a look at uh, how this works, let's, let me show you the device manager if I can find it on here. Let's see here. OK, here we go. Let me type in device manager. not doing well today okay device manager and here you'll want to see the USB devices on the uh, Windows 10 virtual machine here and let's take a look at those they are called human interface devices so here are the two USB devices these should show up I don't need two of them I have a mouse on here which doesn't work anyway so I should take that mouse out. But one of these here uh, is the FDDI device. So now once those are in, you want to configure the program here under settings. And what I found works is COM3. So at least on this cable that I have bought, COM3 works. And what I should do is try and find that cable for you. Um, let me see if I can find the cable on, on eBay here. And let me try and find it. Um, look for the uh, Pegasus. Try and find the one I'm using here. So, no, I'm not seeing it. Okay, uh, I, I can find it like this. So, my eBay, blah, 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 purchase history. Okay, so the cable I bought is here. So this guy sells this cable, and this is the one you want, the FDTI USB 10 tech cable this is the cable I'm using on this 10 tech and it works great so again right here contact the seller here FTDI USB 10 tech cable that's the one I'm using and that's the one that works okay so now we got that figured out it seems like it always comes in on COM3 so there's COM3 and it's all set up 
So I can take the settings, get rid of those. Actually, I want to disable my transmitter here because I don't want it keying up. I have no antenna that's worthwhile. Disable transmitter. There we go. Now, settings. Undo those. Okay, so the radio is running now, and I think that's all I need to show you. And so when you cancel the radio program here, let's see if I can do this. And I close this program. I can't seem to find how to close this thing. There it is. Close it. Okay, so yeah, this gives you then an idea of this Windows 10 VM that I'm running here. I log into it, and there's my USBs. Anyway, so you want to install this program from 10Tech. So here's the program I used from 10Tech. Here's 10Tech for the Pegasus. This site is still running uh, from 10Tech, but who knows for how long. So I would download all the software you can from this thing. But I did download this setup here today, and it worked. So this is the one I installed on this Windows 10 VM, and it worked fine. So once you install that, you can bring this thing up and select COM3, and you'll be all set. So I would definitely download all these files and, and put them away somewhere, because this site could go down any minute. Who knows what will happen to it? Anyway, so to run the 10 tech Pegasus then, the program installs with this little horse. Um, I selected COM3 as a port, and you hit this thing, and it'll come up. And checks the connection, and nothing's happening that I can tell. Or is it happening? Let's see, radio. Oh, it's there. Okay, it's working. So, volume up. Anyway, that's about it. So I'm running the uh, Pegasus program on a Windows 10 VM again, and I'm running under I'm running under uh, VMware ESXi on a, a small computer here. So that's how I'm doing this thing. Um, I've had a bunch of VMs on this machine for a long time on this server that I've used for all sorts of things, but I got this Windows 10 to work finally and. I'm pretty happy with it, so that's running the uh, Pegasus software now. So that's about it. Happy. Now on my desk is clear of ham radios, and I just have a little encoder wheel, and I have this, and I got room to work. I don't have a transmitting antenna yet, but I can listen. So that's about it. So anyway, that's my adventures with the Pegasus, the uh, 10 Tech Pegasus. It's taken me weeks to fix this radio, and I'm glad it's finally fixed. And I think I'll use it now as a primary radio because it doesn't take up much room. And when I'm working, doing my job here at a remote office, I can just use it without having stuff on my desk. So that's about it. I do want to um, develop a web interface for this radio and not have to use this Windows computer. And I'll work on that while I have time. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.